Hi, this is Ray Wilson of Music from Outer Space, and um, I'd like to demonstrate the latest module that uh, I've come up with. It is a delayed modulation module. As you can see, I mounted it here uh, with my keyboard controller and a, and a couple of attenuators. But essentially, it is this module right here in the center. Um, it's very cool. I like this thing a lot. Notice what it is, is you've got a low frequency oscillator, a VCA, and an attack and release uh, envelope generator built onto one board. And, and they're wired and, and put together in such a way that the output of the LFO goes into the VCA and the output of the AR generator controls the VCA. So that what you have is as you hit a key, you will get uh, the vibrato coming in controlled by the AR generator and the VCA so you see how that comes in okay so uh, many many times you put this patch together it's nice to have it on one board nice to have it in one module and this has a lot of nice flexibility as well so what we've got uh, right now I'm just controlling one oscillator uh, putting it through a VCA uh, just so that the note doesn't continue on after I'm done holding the key. But uh, I just want to demonstrate the various uh, parts on it. What you've got is you've got sine and square wave modulation. Now, that's sine. That's square. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the modulation level to high. I'm going into an exponential voltage control input right now, and that's why I have it on low. Typically, you could have it on high if you're going into a linear uh, voltage control input. But we'll put it to high just to demonstrate the square wave and the sine wave, you know, really modulating. See that? We'll go back to sine. I mean, and you can really go crazy with it. Okay. Now we've got the attack time turned up a lot. And we have no release time. But if we put a little release in there, see, we'll get some release on that as well. Now the other thing we can do, notice you, you can have this uh, the AR generator in triggered mode or gated mode. In gated mode, as you hold the key and the gate continues, you continue to get the modulation. But now, if we put it into triggered mode, and we hit a key, see it'll come on, and then it'll go off. And it's going on at a very quick release rate here, and again with a lot of modulation. We'll turn this guy down some. You see, so it's triggered now. All right, now what you can do is, let's say we turn the attack really uh, short, and with some release time and see so you can have the modulation at the beginning instead of a delay on it now you can also turn this frequency up this uh, it goes up to about 500 Hertz the way it is and of course if you change the timing capacitor for it you can get a lot higher frequencies you see so the modulation decays away and we're left with the sine wave so that's kind of a cool effect. You can make that decay really slow. Go to square waves. So as you can see, it's a fun module. Uh, it's going to provide you with the delay modulation patch. You can forget about ever having to patch it again <laughs> and just use this. Uh, and uh, I really like it. I like it a lot. As I say, I built it into my keyboard controller here. This opening, uh, you can't see it very well, but it's going to be for uh, my new synthesizer that I'll be uh, coming out with very quickly, very soon here. And uh, I think you're going to like that as well. It's, it's very cool. It takes the sound lab and essentially just makes it into a, a better unit 
uh, the, the oscillators are very, very uh, stable and uh, they track one volt per octave very well. Uh, I really think you're going to like it. So uh, that's what's coming, but delayed modulation, that's what's here. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you get a chance to build it and, uh, and play with it. It's a lot of fun. Well, again, thank you very much for listening. It's uh, Ray Wilson of Music from Outer Space. Music from, from outer, outer space. space.